Okay, everyone, welcome back to Bez of Frat here at the Chirat David, the Erev Shabbos uh, Kodesh, uh, Shabbos Chazon, and it's uh, Pasha's Devarim. All right, okay. And, uh, but we'll, uh, we, we have to still maintain our level of Simcha, because Simcha is, where, is the only way we can get through anything. We need our Simcha. Mm-hmm. Right, we're learning about this. We're learning based on Torah 22 uh, in the Kutim Maran. Okay, Chayshim Shabbatai Chayshim. Uh, it's an amazing lesson, uh, as we as you, 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 you we we've been hearing a little bit about uh, from from Rav Nassim. He's giving us a beautiful explanation on it. So we had this idea of Nasev and Nishma, right? Nasev and Nishma is connected to the two crowns that the, uh, that we were given uh, at Har Sinai, right? The, Malach, the Malachim came down with the there were there were uh, one million two hundred thousand Malachim that came down. Right to give each one gave us a crown. Do you believe that they were busy, right? It was six hundred thousand, right? A million two hundred thousand malacha. Could you imagine if we could see things like that? <laughs> Amazing, right? Okay. And then we learned this idea that there's a concept of of nishma which turns into nasa, right? You have you have something that you don't understand, right? You have something that you don't that you kind of know a little bit about. Uh, and then you do what you do understand that level, then that becomes nasa, right? And then you get a new nishma, right? Mm-hmm. We, we learned this concept before again with with there's something that you have in our minds that's makiv, mm-hmm. right? And then we have we have uh, we have the pnimi, where something that's inside, right? Something that's makiv, something, and it's the same concept, right? You have something that's above what I understand, I can, then I can comprehend the level. We gave we used the example yesterday of of a. Uh, of a child that goes to school, right? And he doesn't know how to read the letters. So to that child, seeing the, seeing the olive base, wow, that's, <laughs> I know about it, but I, he doesn't know it, right? Then he learns it, then he learns the vowels. Oh, wow, I don't know about that, right? And so on and so forth. As he goes along, he learns Chumash, he learns Rashi, then he, he sees there's a, there's a Ramban. Wow, Ramban has something different on Rashi. Whoa, whoa. Oh, and there's a Archaim. <laughs> and so on and so forth. You keep gaining and you keep going, right? Okay? Now we said, how do you do all of that? You need Simcha, right? You need, you need, you need joy in order to, to, to keep, pl- to, to, go, to go from one level to the next, and to keep going, fu- to get, keep soldiering on, you must have simcha. How do you get simcha? You have to have kedushas abris, right? Kedushas abris. It's all, it all, it all, it all goes back to kedushas abris, right? Did you say that? Yeah, yeah, we, we learned, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 it all, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it all goes back to the same, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see. So that was that's basically it. Um, we we gave the example yesterday of a of a of a a, a horse and a rider. Right. We have the horse and the rider. Right. So the rider in our example is the neshama, and the horse is the guf. Right. So the horse has to, the horse has to be controlled by the rider, not that the ride the horse controls the rider. Right. And that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that, that's how we have success. Right, you can you can understand it also if you have a, a a horseman that doesn't know how to control his horse, it could be fatal for him. Mm-hmm. Right, it could be truly fatal. Right, you had that that famous actor, right? It didn't work out too good. Thing. Superman. What was his name? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, Ree, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Superman. He wasn't such a Superman, right? He wasn't such a Superman. Huh? Not in this world. <laughs> No, but that's the whole thing, right? So we understand. Okay, good. What? <laughs> Does anyone have any questions on that? That con- this concept this, that we got it, or we said yesterday we have some difficult horses that we have to deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> okay, but 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 again, if you if, no matter how difficult the horse is, if you keep pushing it, you keep working on it, and you persevere, and you're trying to, you 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 will you will uh, get through to it. You will get through to it. I, I truly believe that. Okay, does anyone else believe that? <laughs> We're trying. Yeah, I understand. It's it's a it's a life's work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But at least we know we're working on it, right? On the program. Hmm. On the program. In the program. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right, so so hey, vakla shabachol darga v'darga kishzeichin lotzeitz minasa v'nishma. Right, we go out the, any level that you go out. 
from Nase Venishma, Zer Le Nase Venishma Gavoya Yoiser, right? So each time you're going up, right? You go out of Nishma, it becomes a Nase, then you get another Nishma, then it becomes another Nase, and you keep growing like that. So this we said that every day we get, we have to be in touch. We, we, we talk about our neshama right away, in the morning, right? You, you realize that? Mm-hmm. Right? We get up in the morning, and we, it's the first things we say. Shechazata bi nishmasi, right? We talk about the neshama, right? Because the neshama took a trip. And now the neshama came down with, with new ha'aras, new different things, right? And it's the same idea with the tzaddik. We connected the tzaddik. And when you connect to the tzaddik, of course the tzaddik has new ha'aras every day also, right? And then if you connect it to the tzaddik, it can help you and so on and so forth. Okay. Right. So we said that that nigla v'nister is Torah and tefila, right? Like he says, Torah and tefila. Haynu shayadei ha tefila v'advekas shemispalim u medabkin. Right. Atzman la shem is barach be'eish shadover nister imenu. Right. So now you're trying to hear how, how does this work? He's explained to us how it works. You have something that you don't understand. Right, something you don't understand. You daven to Hashem to reveal it to you. Right, you daven to Hashem to reveal it to you. Rabbi Nachman was crying; to, he couldn't understand Chumash and Rashi. Right, Rabbi Nachman. Right, he couldn't. He couldn't understand. He didn't understand anything. He davened, He begged Hashem, and look what he got accomplished. Right, it's only because he begged Hashem. Right, all the tzaddikim, Amish Rabbeinu, all the tzaddikim, they beg Hashem. That's how they accomplish what they can accomplish. They don't. It doesn't come to them. Uh, you know, they just they're not born with it. They become a tzaddik because they worked on it to become who they became. It takes a lot of a lot of work. Right? Okay. Ayadei zeh ba'atzmai zeichin le'simcha shayadei zeh zeichin la'azas to kedusha. That's how you get the azas to kedusha. Right through simcha. Right, because again, you need Azaz to Kedusha. We said you need it uh, uh, when it comes to family, friends, and uh, acquaintances, right? You need that Azaz to Kedusha in order to do what you're supposed to do, right? Because otherwise they'll tell you, yeah, what are you doing? You're from me, yeah, right? All of that stuff, right? But you need that Azaz to Kedusha. Then how do you do that? You need Simcha. How do you get the Simcha? You daven to Hashem, right? You daven, and then when you realize, wow, I daven to Hashem, and look, I understand this now. It brings you a great level of simcha, right? When you're trying to understand something, right? You're working on something, you didn't understand it. And then you finally get it. Doesn't that feel great? That feeling, right? You didn't understand something. Then now, oh, I got it. Right? You ever feel that, that feeling, right? Sure. Yassi, yeah, right? Sure, sure. It's a great feeling. It gives you a big, big simcha, right? Well, the Shabbat Azaz and that's how you can break the brazenness of the body, right? The body says, no, you take care of me. Right, then the shaman says, "No, you take care of me." Right, like the, the example the Tanya gives us that it's we're, we're, we're like uh, each each person each person's like is an oilam cotton, right? So he, we know that each person is their own like a little world, right? Yeah. He gives the idea of he gives the idea in Tanya as an island. Mm-hmm. What? No, I'm just thinking. Every time I've asked God for help, He's given it to me. Why, why don't I ask Him more often? <laughs> I, I mean, I just don't see that. Get, see I don't that? get myself. You see that? It's just. Stubborn, I don't know what it is. Yeah, we just have to ask. We just have to keep asking. And don't and and nothing's too small or too big to ask for. Yeah. But when you ask for something, you have to understand you're asking for things from for Hashem for the wellness of your neshama, not necessarily yeah. for the wellness of the guf, right? Because the neshama is what really lasts for eternity. The guf is the guf, right? So people think that they ask Hashem only for, for, for things, right? I need more panas, I need this, I need that, I need a new car, I need a new, whatever. Right? People think they're davening for these types. But is that, does that make a difference at the, when you go to the next world? Which car you had or which thing? Does that really make a difference? What makes a difference is the neshama, that's eternal. So that's when you ask Hashem, right? Okay. We can get the, 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 the Nishma and the Nisla, we can understand it again through Tvila. Then you can work on, then you can complete your Amuna. 
right? Because once you believe that you dive into Hashem and He listens to you, and you see that, wow. So then you start to have, you, you can complete your immunity. that you realize, hey, there's something to this, right? Bevechines Yerushalayim Kriya Nehmona, right? It's a city of faith, right? It's a city of faith, Nehmona. Shehu Bechines Shleimus Chosim Hayadayim, this is like the Chosim Hayadin, this is the idea for the 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 Chosim Shabbatzai Chosim, he's talking about in Lesson 22, which is the hands and the feet, it's the Chosim of the hands, hands, and the Chosim of the feet. The Kohen demonstrates both of them. When, the seal, a seal. A seal of the hand. There's a, a seal of the hands. There's a seal of the feet. You have to. You'll study the lesson. You'll understand it. Uh, but, but I'm just giving you the point. Is okay. So the, the kohen demonstrates both of those things when he goes up to give us the blessing, right? Because the kohen uses his feet when, by, by ritze to go up, and then he, he picks up his hands. So there's the chaisim ayadayim, chaisim raglayim. Right. The lower one is the raglayim. Of course, that's why he starts moving first, and then he can then. Then he can then pick up his hands and get the heart. We'll, we'll see you later. Okay. Va'oz, nase meha nishma, nase. So then you can keep going. You keep going in this way. You keep going. You have a nishma, and then you work on it. You dive into Hashem, and then that becomes revealed to you. And then you can get something else, and you work, and you keep going level to level to level to level. And we said that the highest, the best thing to get is to be connected to the Ain Sight. That's what we said yesterday. Right, the greatest level is to get connected to the Ain Saif to Hashem, and that's the highest level that we can get to, and that's what we're striving to. The tzaddikim are on that level. That's why we want to keep going. To, we want to connect to the tzaddikim because then they can help pull us up with with uh, with their with their uh, uh, kedusha. Right? So all shuv ein anishma vanista azeh nikra b'shem nishma vanista ki im b'shem nasa v'nigla. It loses its, in other words, the idea, the thing that you were praying for, right? It loses its concept of being nishma, something I don't understand, something I can't comprehend, to now I, I attained it. Now I attained it, that be, now becomes the nasa, and then I can start to strive for something else, okay? You understand the concept? He said the idea, it's like that when it comes to sports, right? With athletes and things like that, they keep trying to always, they have a new goal. They get they, they they reach this goal. Now they have a new goal. They want to go. They want to go one higher, one higher. And this is the same idea. It's a muscle for the nimshal, right? The example for what we're trying to uh, uh, explain over here. Vaz yeshloi. What? Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Because the, we, we're trying. We we, we connected the tzaddikim. We want to go up higher. The tzaddik is the greatest athlete, right? Yeah. Right. You, 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 that's exactly right. That's what they say. When, when we come to shine, they'll ask you, why weren't the best that you could be? Not why you weren't this guy or that, the other one, right? But you are allowed to be jealous of someone else's uh, kabbalah. No, you, we can. When it when it comes to when when it comes to Torah, you can be jealous. That's the only thing we're allowed to be jealous of, right? Because because then you can because that'll that 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 you can do something about. And that fits your your description, I think. As long as it's that. It says Hakol Chutz Meyirah Right? Hold on, listen to this. Here it says Hakol Bidei Shemayim Chutz Meyirah Everything is from heaven except for Yirah Shemayim. So you can understand that many different ways, right? Hakol bidei shemayim, everything that I ask for is shemayim, right? I ask, I need the physical things, right? So they make a they they decide in heaven if this is ultimately good for the person, right? They, they decide is this really he? You want this, but is this going to lead you to something a positive, or is this going to lead you to something that's going to be detrimental to you? And we don't we don't know, right? We have no idea, right? Right, the guy. I'll give you an example. Right, a, a young kid wants a, fan, a a very fast sports car. Right, he really wants that, but it could be detrimental to him. Right, I'm just I'm giving a, a blatant example. Right, but it could be anything in our lives. Right, we're asking for something. We we don't know if it's really good for us. And the way you're really supposed to dive into Hashem is when you ask for something of physicality, Hashem. If this is ultimately good for me, 
So I want it. If it's not good for me, don't give it to me. You know if it's good for me. It's hard to do that, right? Because I really want this thing, right? You really want something, right? But you could dive into Hashem. If this is ultimately good for me, then please grant it to me. But if it's not, I don't even want it. Right, but okay. So Hakol Bidei Shemayim, Chutz Meir Shemayim. The Svarim Kedashim say the Chutz Meir Shemayim means if you dive into Hashem for Yer Shemayim, you want to have fear of Hashem, you want to have fear of heaven, that you'll certainly get. Because that's certainly good for you. You follow? Hakol Bidei Shemayim, everything is, is, is based on heaven. They make a decision if you need it. Chutz that they don't make, that's ultimate, that's definitely good. Do you understand the concept? That's, huh? That's a given, right, right, okay, okay. But unless we learn that, you don't know that, right? You think that everything's from, from heaven, but the chutz mi yerushimayim, that you, you, that, that, that's a pot law. That's why you can understand it, right? <laughs> but it's not. It's, it, you can ask Hashem for yerushimayim, which is the best thing. Boaz, yesh loy. I think, do we understand this concept now? Is it, we're getting it. Yesterday was a little bit out there, right? I think we, we, that was, it was Nishma yesterday, but now it's turning into a Nasser, right? I hope, right? You daven and beg and beseech Hashem. That he should help me now with my new level. I want to go up one ne- next level. I want to keep rising up levels, right? That this nis that that nis this nister benishma hazer oz the oz zois hatfila v'spoidus vadvekas nikra b'shem nishma. That's a because I'm davening to Hashem. It's nister. I don't understand it. That's nishma. The tefila is nishma. The oz al yedei ha nishma hazer who. You can break the, the brazenness of the sitra the sitra the, the, the brazenness of the goof, the body, and you can keep pl- going forward and you can keep going forward. Like we learned the other day in Kitsu Jokanarak, a person wants to get up earlier in the morning. Right, he wants to say these days, it's amazing if you could say Tikkun Khatsos, right? This is an amazing thing, right? We're in the nine days. It's always a good thing, but uh, now they, they say everyone, anyone should do this now. Everyone should do it, even if you're not normally doing it. It's a wonderful thing to say the Tikkun Katsos now because we're, we're, we're being this Aval over the, the Chobin Beis Amigda. So this is the, the right time, right? Okay, Chayzeh Meshabah B'yoyseh Ha'azaz Tzitra Acha V'chayzeh Mekabah La'ora Yoyseh G'doyleh Meha Neshama O Meha Tzadik this is the Asagas the of the Neshama, right? Because you keep attaining what the Neshama. The Neshama knows a lot more. And then Rabbi Nachman writes an amazing thing in Sikha Sarat. You're learning something, right? And you, you, you're trying to learn, I don't know, you're learning a, you're learning a Taisvis, right? I'll give you an example, right? You're, try, you're trying to understand this Taisvis. And you, well, you learn it again and again and again and again and again. You just don't get it. You just don't get it. So you know what Rabbi Nachman says? Go on. Go on. He says, you know why? Because you may not understand it, but your neshama definitely understands it. You tried. So your neshama definitely understands it. So don't worry about it. That doesn't mean you have to, you have to, you have to stop to put in your effort. But if you put in the effort and it's just not going, don't make yourself crazy and say, I'm going to stay on this and you're not going to go forward. You just always go for it because the neshama understands. The same over here like this. The neshama understands. The neshama has the understanding. I'm davening to Hashem that he should bring it down to my good so I can use it. It can, it can, it can be beneficial to me. Right? So really, if you, anytime you're learning, you can always, that's, that thing that you didn't understand is the neshama. Right? So if you daven hard enough, you will get it. But if you can't do that, or whatever the case is, so just go on either way. Right? And you, because you're still learning, so it doesn't matter. Co- cover a lot of ground. Rabbi Nachman says you're supposed to cover a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of ground. Why? Because when you come to the next world, only things you learned in this world can you learn in the next world. So you want to have a big library upstairs, right? You don't want to have a, you know, a, you know sometimes you know, guys learn, they, 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 they go through the yeshiva system, right? And in their whole life, they learn 50 blot. 
right? right? Each year, each each year, each uh, each uh, what do you call it? each month they do uh, six, seven blot, you know, <laughs> and then and then two years later they go back and do the same six, seven blot again, and then the cycle goes back in three more years they do it again, right? And <laughs> right? so how many blot did they actually learn? Not many, Not many right? So he goes, so they go to the next world. Boy, they'll understand those blot great, but but what about everything else? So the guys that are smart, they have a, a, a seder and bekiyas also, right? You have that's the Ian seder, right? That's the say that they go in depth, but they have a bekiyas seder. They just cover a lot of ground, right? That's why the daf yomi is a great thing, right? Because you go through all the shas, right? You can do anything like that. You can do you can do nach yomi, right? You can do all these things. They're great because then every day you come, you you accomplish a lot more. You see a lot more things, and that mm-hmm. becomes you earn you you acquire that, and that becomes yours, right? Is that a nice idea? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's Rabbi Nachman's idea. Okay, but Oz, okay, Agavai Yosef, Oz Nishlam Venivne Yosef. Uh, be, uh, uh, Nemona. This is the city of, of faith, and because you keep getting the faith, so it's connected, all connected to Yerushalayim. And it keeps going up, and it keeps going up. Okay, so this is the, the, the concept, and you need, how does you need to keep doing this? You need Simcha. Simcha gives you the Azas, the Kedusha. Right, that brazenness to be able to keep fighting the body, if you keep fighting the eight zara, you need that constantly. So every time you have the idea, the concept is again, you have a nishma. You, I don't understand. I daven to Hashem. Davening to Hashem gives me more emuna. Davening to Hashem gives me more simcha. Right, it gives me more azas to kedusha to break the guf, to break the type, to break whatever it is, and then I can go on to the next level. Okay, any questions on this? Wow, you guys are great. I don't understand it. So you guys are amazing. Like you need to be a nun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like you know, it's kilu kam Hashem, like a regular person. Like, all right, great. You know, I gave you the level. I freaking made it. You got granted to you. Okay. Thank you. Chepering, chepering, chepering. Yeah. I want another level. Another level. You, you can't. Know, you're never I mean, satisfied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like it's in our. Yes, he can ask you. Yes, he can ask you a question. When when you when you earned your money, right? Yeah. And they gave you and they and they gave you the money. Don't you want to have another client so you get some more money? That's, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, well, but you have your money. Not, yeah. Well, you have your money. What's, what's the problem? Yeah. But I want more. Right. Well, why is that? This is because it is. It is. We have lack of a moon angle. I'm just trying to give you an no, example of something no, that no, you no, understand. And, and there's sometimes that, that that I feel that oh I yeah, I I want more. And I'll say, wait, wait a second, wait a second, it's just a game. Remember the feeling you had when you first got it, or that feeling of satisfaction? So you just got it, so what are you, what are you trying to get more? And, and, and I'll even try to- I want that feeling again! And so I'll even, I'll, I'll, I'll even, I mean, really, if there's a video on me, you see that, I'll even go, go back into my closet, and I'll pull out, I'll pull out what they gave me from a week or two ago, and I'll do, I'll, I'll spread it out, and I'll, 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 I'll look at it even. <laughs> I know. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> this guy's amazing. If you saw the, you saw and it brings some simcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and, and no, and, and, and I'm looking, and there's still a rayach, you know, and and and, uh, and, and a few, but it's not the same. Right, but you could do this. Yeah, once yeah, but yes, you could do the same thing with this. You can go back. You can go back and look at the level I was at. Look at the level that I was at. Look at that level that I was at just before. Wow! And look, I came here. Wow! Doesn't it also gives you a simcha? Right, you could it, 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 all of these things is, are, are mashalim for what the nimsh, what we're trying to learn. All these things, right? And athletes with money, with any anything, you could plug anything back into this concept over here. And again, all of those things are the same idea, right? You have something that's a, it's a nishma. I want to earn more. I, how am I going to do that? How am I going to earn more? Right? Oh, I figured out how to do it. Oh, now I got to earn more money. It's the same thing with the athlete, right? The same, it's the same concept. Everything is this concept. This is how life really works, right? This is how life really works. This is, a, a, it, it, it's fascinating. And again, I told you, Rabbi Nachman took this Torah down from, from the highest place in, in, in Shemayim. He went up there and, and he came back with this lesson. And this is, this is what he came back this with. This is the great lesson. You know, this is his great lesson. This is his great lesson, Yossi, yeah. So it must be a very deep, it's a very deep concept. It doesn't sound like such a deep... 
No, because Rav Nassim makes it so beautiful. He, he lay, but it's it's very lofty. Yeah. This is a very lofty concept. Yeah. Of how we, we're really understanding why every morning we say Modaani Shechazata Bi Nishmasi. Why we have to? Why why do they have to talk about the Nisham? Oh, your Nisham. Oh, I have this Nisham. Oh, this thing. He's he's the he's the rider. Oh, the body's the horse. Oh, here we go. The 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 the, the, the rider's back, right? The horse was in the stable all night, right? Oh, the rider's back. Okay, I gotta, I gotta pay attention to the rider now. You understand? It's, it's all, yeah. it's a program, yeah. right? Okay. <clears throat> any, anyone else have any comments on any questions? No, but but do we understand it? Yeah, all right. Sometimes I do. <laughs> no, the you under, the, the concept is some things I don't yeah. understand. I pray for it. I pray for it. When I get it, it gives me great simcha. Right. The simcha gives me more brazenness to fight the, the body, the guf, the yitzhara, whatever the case may be, right? And then and then and, and then and then I can work on attaining the next level. And I keep going level to level to level to level. Oh, that's another. That, that I would say is a big idea. Is that it's level to level. I mean, that's not such a chiddush. But it, had I not known this, I might have thought, Ha oh, Hashem, give it, you know, give it all to me. You know, get me up there. Get me by the Kisei cover. Let me be the starkest guy. Let me, you know, however I perceive that. And instead, it's like, it's but, but, but we learned, we learned in Shema, when you say Shema Yisrael Hashem Lekein, Hashem you go to that place of Ratzon and Shema You go to that place. Yeah, that's a high, yeah, high place. You go to that place for that moment. Yeah, yeah, that's Hashem good, that's good, yeah. Shema, but in, in my life, it's very. You want to be there all the time. It's very gradual. I mean, ideally, I think people want to be in the state. Uh, yeah, uh, I know it's not. A, it's it's not. A, <laughs> okay, okay. We don't want to be there all the time. No, you want it, but but it's not gonna. It's it's uh, it's not. I don't think it's gonna work out like that. We want to. We want it to work out like that. But we have to be. We have to be. We have to be realistic. I don't know. That's supposed to work out like that. Yeah, well, okay, but but again, we know we can connect to Hashem on certain times, places, yeah, right? So those are right, certain times. When it comes to Shabbos, Rava the Ravin, we learned, right? And then during Davani, we can do that. That's why we're constantly connecting back to Shabbos. Now we're learning we have to constantly connect back to the Neshama. It's all... But, but every time you take a step up spiritually, you're at the lowest rung of that next yeah, level. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. You gotta, you're you're down again. I mean, you know, you got yeah. yeah, and you got to you, you, you got to keep going. At the bottom. You got to. You always at the bottom. You come the up, and then you go back to the bottom. And you, and you go, go back up. Run, running and res, running and returning. Yeah. Bucky berotze, bucky bishov. Yeah. Understanding doesn't mean you are able to do it. Understanding doesn't mean you're able to do it. Always. Okay. Does it mean you're able to act on it. Right. Or, or, or no, no. I know, and then I just see. No, but something you want to do is also this part of the nishma. We're using the idea of understanding, but it's also something I want to do, right? I yes. want to be able to get up and say tikkun chatzos, right? I want to be able to do it. Even the kids of Shulchan Aruch said, if you do it once, do it twice, three, four, five times. Force yourself. Force yourself to do it. He says you'll become horgel. You'll be able to be. You'll be able to do it. Yeah. The kitzur says that. Gansri, he says that. Right? It's amazing, right? Yeah. You can do it. That's something physical, right? That's I'm giving now a, a, a physical example. Right? The guy wants to be able to sit down to learn for for an hour a day, or even for fifteen, whatever he can do. If the guy didn't learn it all, so now sit down and learn for five minutes, and learn ten minutes, and learn fifteen minutes, and so on, and keep going. Right, you do it slowly, and you keep going, but you just keep growing a little bit higher, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go. Let's try to do vav. Okay, ki kaidim shetzarek lotzeis mi nasa v'nishma zeh le nasa v'nishma gavaya yaisa tzarek sheir la yirida kaidem aliyah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you have to have the yirida kaidem the aliyah. Right, we have this concept many, 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 many times, right? The example we always give is if you want to jump up really high, so what do you do? You crouch down, and then you can spring up higher, right? You wouldn't stand as high as you can and then try to jump. You won't go too high, right? 
So that's the idea of this. You have to first sheyila yerida kaidem laliya. You have to first have the yerida. So people think, oh no, I have this yerida. Well, this is terrible. No, you should understand when you have the yerida, it means you're on your way up. If you know how to do it. That's why Rabbi Nachman says you have to be a Bucky Baratzi, Bucky Bishop. You have to know how to go down, you have to know how to go up. You have to know how to go down. You have to understand, I'm going down now. Why am I going down? I'm only going down now because Hashem wants to bring me up. The Eight Sahara says to you, no. The Eight Sahara says, you see, you were on this level here. Now you fell down. So you see, it's, what are you, who are you fooling? That's what the Eight Sahara tells you. Then you need the Aziz to Kedusha. You need that Aziz. No, 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 no. I know why I'm going down. Hashem is sending me down to make sure I'm ready to go to the next level. He wants to make sure I'm ready to get to that next level. Yeah. You understand? That's why we're going down. But if you ask anybody, they'll tell you they go through Eureka. It's terrible, right? Terrible. Yeah. If you don't know why you're going through the Eureka. If you don't know why you, f- you fell down. If you don't understand why you fell down. What's the proof? It says, Sheva Yipo Tzadik Vikam. Sheva Yipo Tzadik Vikam. What does it mean? If he's a Tzadik, why is he falling down? He keeps getting up because he's going from level to level. You understand? If you, if you understand that, that doesn't make any sense. If you understand, if you learn through Tanya, right? It makes no that statement makes no sense, right? The statement is not. He makes the sheva yipo tzaddik v'kam. If he's a tzaddik, he never falls down. The, the, the Tanya says that, right? Tanya says, what is the definition of a tzaddik? He never makes a mistake. The Bainani is the one that's fighting back and forth. He's fighting. He's constantly fighting. He never loses. The Bainani never loses. He's always battling with the Eight Sahara, right? But he never loses. That's the Bainani. In the in the in the, in, 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 in in Tanya, okay? That's the that's the Bainani. He's the guy that never loses. But the Tzaddik never falls down, nothing. He has no problems. Because he says David Melech had a cholol bekirbi, right? He had a in his heart, he had a, a void. What was that? He vanquished his Yetzirah. That's what the Tanya brings down, right? He, has, he had a cholol bekirbi. Why is it? Because he vanquished his Yetzirah through fasting, through through his avoda. He was able to do that. So, but now, if you understand he, 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 that the tzaddik falls down, why? Because he's going from one level to the next. He's not actually falling. He's just, he's just, he's just, he's receding, going a little bit back in order to get to the next level. You can't go to the next level unless you, you, you went down. You at, some, at some point, Tzadik stops having to do that. And we have to keep going. No. Never? No, there's not, there, you can never go high, uh, too high. Tzadik also. But Tzadikim also. They but, keep, but, you, but you said they get to the point where they don't fall. No, 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 okay. They don't fall, actually fall, but they have a Yerida on their level. Uh, on their level, okay. something didn't go exactly the way they wanted it to go. He, the, the tzaddik was making his bracha. He wanted to have a certain kavana when he said Hashem's name, and he ju- it just didn't work out for him. Okay. That's a Yerida on the tzaddik's level, right? He's trying to, he's trying to understand, and, and it just doesn't work. That's a Yerida for him. Okay. Now, does he get bent out of shape because of that? No. No, he understands. Oh, Hashem, I got it. Oh, you did that to me because you're going to give me a better understanding now. Oh, I was trying to understand it this way. You want to now give me something much better. And that's how he keeps going up. They see the good in everything. Right. So, some tzaddikim give us promise. They promise us things if, they, if we go to their graves, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of tzaddikim do that. Why do they do that? You ever think of that? Why, do, why does a tzaddik need us to go to their grave? No, they get something from us when we go there. No, so 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 uh, let's say let's say Rabbi Nachman promises go to his grave, and you say the tikkun akloli, you give a prut the tzedakah, you can give one before, you can give it after, right? Whatever you however you want to do it, it doesn't matter, right? And you give it in his name, right? Rabbi Nachman and Fegas, whatever. Okay, so then he says uh, he'll he'll pull you out of Gehenna by your payas. Pretty good, right? Why does he do that? Why does he need to do that? Why does the tzaddik need to do that? He already no, and what's the difference for him? He's in his next world. He's he's got his beautiful mansion up there. Everything is great. Everything is beautiful. Why does he want to be involved? Come keep coming back over here. Why does he want to keep coming down over here? You know why? Because the tzaddik wants to take on our mistakes. He takes them he can on. Have them. No, no. Wait a second. Yeah, he <laughs> wants. No, 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 no. He wants them. Why? 
He Take wants him. it, and then we say vidui, right? You go to the, you, you can go to the tzion of a tzaddik, right? You could say vidui, right? You say confession, right? You say confession, right? Like you're going to a tzaddik directly, mm-hmm. like you're sitting in the office with a tzaddik, right? So you can tell the tzaddik, I did this wrong, I did that wrong, I did this wrong, right? You, t- you tell the, t- you do a confession. Right? So that's how you're doing when you go to the... The tzaddik loves that. Why? He takes that on as a yurida. The tzaddik takes that on as a yurida, and it's a big yurida. Because the lower you fall, the higher you can jump up. The tzaddikim, once they're in the next world, they're not happy with their level. Because in the next world, you can't, ra- you can't rise levels. Whatever you got, that's where you're at. But the tzaddik can figure it out, wait a second, if I can keep coming back into this world and I can be taking on a Yerida from somebody else because he's connected to me, right? It, it, again, how does it work? You go to the tzaddik, you're connected to the tzaddik, right? So if your neshama is connected to the neshama of the tzaddik, right? So now you could, the tzaddik is connected to you. You follow? Yeah. So that's why the tzaddik takes it on, and now he can work on making tikkunim because he wants to go on a higher level. Yes, it's just like a, a real system. <laughs> yeah. So when, when the tzaddik falls and gets back up seven times, he's... But now that's on his level. He falls he's on his level. When he gets back up, he's going to a higher level. He's going, and that's why he's falling. And so by the end of those seven Why times, seven? Because it's seven spheres, right? He's at the top of the seventh sphere. Right, he keeps going, he falls down, he goes, he climbs up the seventh spheres again. Uh-huh. Why is it Sheva, you both and sound like falls up. back at the seven, he falls back down. To one. Like you said, you go back to the lowest level, and you keep going up. Mm-hmm. When you go all the way up, you really, that's really, Malchus is really all the, the way up, right? which is the bottom, which is the top. Yeah. Right? Okay. I'm just trying to help you understand this idea that we have you read this all the time and people really get bent out of shape because of the you read them. Right? People get, really get bent out of shape. I understand. The horse My is heavy. Problem. What? The horse is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when he's sitting on your back, right? It weighs a thousand pounds or something, right? Some of these horses, right? They weigh a thousand. 600 kilos, yeah. 600, oh, that's even more. That's, that's 1, the, the 1,250 pounds, 1200, almost 1,300 pounds. I'm over to try and lift up my table. Do what? My table. See if you can do that one. Mm. You see my table. I the did. problem that yeah, okay. I have, and yeah. I appreciate you reminding me, is that I forget that I understood. Yeah. But you have to keep remember. You have to remember that, right? You have to keep. A, I have to have a list of all the things I need to remember. Well, why don't you take a make a notebook make a and write it down? Yeah, make take a little notepad and write it down. Read it every day. That's a good thing to do with you at your disposal. I feel like crap today. Yay! I'm going up. <laughs> no, but but no, but that's how it really. No, but that's. I know. I believe you. I just. Get stuck with the. He says it. Sheyir lo yirida kaidam aliyah. Isn't that amazing? This is an amazing concept, right? By yirida he tachlus aliyah. Wait a second. They keep telling us, right? The yirida is the tachlus. Is the purpose of the the, the whole the whole yirida is the purpose of the going up. Now you understand what that means, right? They say the yirida is the tachlus of the aliyah. What do you mean? It's the tachlus. The main purpose of the aliyah. What what does that mean? Because I'm going down, that's how I can get up. I'm only going down to go up. I'm not going down for the sake of going down. I'm going down for the sake of going higher. You follow you that? Know, it's kind of like the stock market. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not, another no. muscle. Okay, no. he has his muscle for the nipsle. Okay, no, let's just, go. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. I had a discussion with my son one time. He said, this, it, you have a stock. It never keeps going up and up and up and up and up. It always has to come down before it can go up. Yeah, okay, it's the same. Everything. Yeah, everything. Everything is the same concept. You can plug anything you like, anything that you're involved in, it will work this way. It will work this way. This is how it works. That's the Azaz Haguf, the brazenness of the body that's trying to fight you back. Right? He keeps fighting you to see, are you ready to go back? The body says, are you really ready to go to the next level? Right? Are you really ready? Nope. Right? 
Right? Any time you want to go for the next level, the body is constantly fighting you. He's constantly pushing back at you. The you know what that means? Well, that means I am ready to go way up right That's now. good. Okay. Way, <laughs> so way go up. up. So go up. It's been amazing. <laughs> As is the sitrach, the main breaking of the of the of the body, the main breaking of the yitzhar, right? The same idea. The sitrach, who are your day simcha? You must have simcha. That's why, again, in this month, they tell you, they say to us, when the av mematim besimcha, right? Come to av, you lower your simcha. They didn't tell you no simcha. Mematim. Mematim. Okay, one level less. You're always full of joy, so you have one level less of simcha now. But you must always maintain simcha. I don't care. Anyone tells you when, it, when you're, it's at Tisha, you're in Tisha B'av. You're saying Eicha. You still have to have a level of simcha. That you're following what the Chazal told me to do here now. I'm following the mitzvah. This is what the Ratzon Hashem is right now. I'm doing that. I have to be happy that I'm doing it. And people will say, I'm crazy. Well, you, can't, you have to be happy on simcha, on Tisha B'av. That's a, that's a big aver. No, I'm sorry. No, you have to still be, it says, mematim is simcha, right? Do, do you agree with me on that? Do, does that make sense? Well, because just... we're so far down on Tishba that we're going to have to go way up real soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The temple's coming. Okay, who are your day has simcha? Ki i efsha lizgabe olav, ki im a yedei simcha v'ched v'daike. You have to have joy. You have to have joy and, and you have to feel the joy. You have to feel the joy that I'm accomplishing what Hashem wants me to do. It's not so, it's, it's an amazing thing. We don't understand. We get to Davin, right? We get to Davin with Nates, Baal Hashem. Wow, it's amazing, right? Where's the joy? No, really. We have to be full of joy that we, we're able to do that. That's not a small thing, right? We put on tefillin. We, we learned how beautiful tefillin. We, we only learned a little bit about you know We don't really have any idea how great tefillin are. We don't really have any idea. I saw in the Svas Emes a beautiful thing with the, with the, with the different, uh, that, that goes with the Chamishe Chum Sheitayra, are connected to tefillin. Isn't that interesting? Chamishe Chum Sheitayra connected to tefillin. How are they connected to tefillin? So says the Holy Svas, uh, it's an amazing idea. He says that you have the uh, first four, four Chumashim, right? You have Bereshe, Shemais, Vayikra, and Bamidbar, right? All these Svarim, they're, 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 they're individual books. They're individual books about different things that happen, right? So Bereshe is about the Ovos. Right, it's about creation of the world, the uh, Noach, uh, the Avos, uh, going to Yeridas Mitzrayim. Okay, fine. Shemos is the whole idea about going out of Mitzrayim, Kabbalah Satora, and, and so on. Right, Vayikra is telling us all about the temple. Right, we had the we had the base uh, the, the 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 Mishkan, so it gives us the whole seder of the uh, Karbonus in Vayikra. Right, but Midbar is telling us all about our journeys that we had and the counting of the people and all of that. When it comes to Sefer Devarim, Sefer Devarim. It's just a recap. It's called Mishnah Torah, right? What's Sefer Devarim? It's Mishnah Torah. It's a review of the Torah. Of course, we have new mitzvahs that are in Devarim also, right? There are some mitzvahs that are new, that are in, that are in, that are in Devarim. It's not all, it's not just a review. There's, a, there's about 200 mitzvahs that are listed in Sefer Devarim, right? Of the, of the 630 mitzvahs, okay? But it's one con- a consecutive thing. It was Achat Asa Yoim. Right, it was, it was uh, uh, the third, the eleventh month. It was the eleventh month, which was which Chodesh, the, the Torah says it was the it was the eleventh month, and it was Chodesh Shvat. It was Rish Chodesh uh, Chodesh Shvat. That's when Moshe Rabbeinu started saying, so started giving us Sefer Devar. Right, that was his last will and testament. Mm-hmm. Right, that was Moshe Rabbeinu's last will and testament. And when did Moshe Rabbeinu pass away? On Zion Adar. So how long did the whole Sefer Devar take? Well, it's either thirty six or thirty seven days. Whether based on was was Chodesh Shvat, was it a Chodesh Mole or was a Chodesh Chaser? Right? It was either twenty nine or thirty days. So either we the whole Sefer Devarim either took thirty six or thirty seven days. The whole Sefer Devarim is that amazing? That's pretty cool, right? The whole Sefer Devarim takes three. So he says like this. So the Svasem says so. You have this four. You have the four uh, compartments in the Rosh. 
right? In the Tefillin Tzorosh, you have the four compartments, and they're individual. So one is Bereshis, Shemais, Vayikra, Bamidbar. Oh, okay. Now, in the Yad, you have the four Pashis, but they're all together. Same Pashis, but they're all together. Mishnah Torah. So that's Sefer Devar. So he, he explains that you're really, you're Tefillin, mm. right? You're Tefillin have four, and then you have one thing that has everything in it, one. That's Sefer And that's Sefer Devar. Mm. All in the Tefillin. There's endless things you could learn about your Tefillin. That's just another thing based on the Parsha from this week, okay? From, based on the Sefer that we're, that we're in now. But, but I'm just saying, there's unlimited things we could learn about from our Tefillin. Unlimited. Literally. Mm. Unlimited things you could learn out of it. Okay, it's 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 endless, literally endless. But we and we put these things on today, right? We have to have joy, right? That's why you have a matan besimcha when it comes to to to, to Tisha B'av, You don't wear your tefillin in the morning. Sfardim wear their tefillin in the morning, right? They don't they don't they don't they don't ascribe to this. You know that, right? Sfardim put on their tefillin in the morning. What? Right? No, no, here too. No, Sfardim put on their tefillin. Sfardim. They on Tisha B'av, they wait until they, they take off their tefillin after Shmon Esrei, and then they say, hey, they, 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 they say the kinnis. Whatever they have different, a little bit different, whatever it is, whatever they do, but, uh, but they wear their tefillin in the morning. <coughs> they wear their tefillin. It's amazing. But we put on our tefillin in the afternoon. Right? Okay, anyway. Okay, okay. I don't know how we got to that, but okay. <laughs> Does anyone want to ask any, any questions on it? Anyone want to add anything? Ellie, you want to say something? No, it's, it's, it's just an interesting thing, the base the base Yaakov uh, on uh, the Ishbitzer. The, 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 yeah. the whole second section of Ayla Dvaram is just this. It's just exactly this. It's <laughs> just wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that going up and what was what like what what is he, the big he, he, say, he, he says he starts with um Ayla is 36, <laughs> right? The, 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 the 36 different creases. He brings a piece in, um, uh, about uh, Moshe brings the, brings the curses, right? And he says it, it, was, it came from him. And so essentially what happens is God takes you to a place, and then he wants to see, then he takes, takes it away. And he wants to see where you're holding when you're theoretically yeah. on your own, right? And so this is where, so he was there, and so then he gives you more. And he gives you more. So the whole the whole section was, was, was based on this. And yeah, the professor from Yeshayahu also he says, you know, he takes you to a place, keeping the over Yoshieno, and then You read the it's the same it, so it, the it, 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 all Torah is the same. Yeah. This concept yes. works, you can plug it so into anything you want. So it works. Happy about going down because you're going to get higher soon. If Absolutely. you understand, you need to really understand when we go down. It's only because Hashem is testing us. Taklas Aliyah, you read as the as the Aliyah. Yeah. We have to remember we, that. We always think that it's Mister that God's leaving us alone. Is not. He's like right there. Like I bring you down for a reason. <laughs> Ellie, so long as you have you in the Shem inside, your Hashem is with you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a chelik eli mouth. How can Hashem not be with you yeah. if you're alive? Right. <laughs> That's a tata de sasa right there, right? Yeah. Uh, well, Hashem's not with me. Wait, wait, you know, where's your neshama? Yeah. <laughs> the fact that you said, yeah. the fact that you said Hashem is not with me tells you that Hashem is with you. Because you couldn't say it if Hashem wasn't with you. Yeah. It's fascinating. Okay, let, let's finish this. See, maybe we can get the Zion. You need to use Torah and Tfila. This is the idea of Torah and Tfila. You need that. Uh, the Torah that you learn. You have to find joy in the Torah that you learn. That's why on Tisha B'av, you don't learn Torah, right? You only learn things pertaining to Tisha B'av, right? Because Torah is supposed to bring you to joy. What do you see by that? Why can't I learn Torah on Tisha B'av? Oh, because it brings me to joy. Well, we're supposed to have joy on Tisha B'av. Yeah, but a, 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 a lower level, okay? It's a little lower. We could learn cer- certain things in Torah. Certain things in Torah. Now, you can't learn everything. Wow, Hashem, you got me off of this level to go to the next level. I'm sorry, we're going a little later, okay? All through Tfila and Izbaydus. 
That's the main simcha. That's why the Rebbe says every day you have to take time to speak to HaKadosh Baruch Because when you do that, it brings you to simcha. And you realize, if you realize you're talking to Hashem, that's supposed to bring you great joy. You're talking to the Melech Malchei Amlachim, right? The king of kings. The bosses of bosses. Right? The presidents of presidents. The prime ministers of prime ministers. Everyone. It's all Hashem. The judge of judges. Right? It's all, everything. You're talking to Hashem. Ki ikr ha-simcha zaychen ha-yedei tefillah v'ezbaydus. The main simcha comes through tefillah and ezbaydus. Tefillah, praying to Hashem and talking to Hashem in your own words. Shayedei zeh zaychen la-azus to Kedusha. That brings a person to more brazenness to Kedusha, right? More brazenness to serve Hashem of holiness. Because I realize I'm, I know I'm doing the right thing. When I know I'm doing the right thing, I don't care what people say. That's the point, Right? If you know you're doing the right thing, do I care what people say? Right? Who cares what people are saying? I know I'm doing the right thing. But how are you going to do that? You need Simcha to have that confidence. Simcha will give you the confidence. That's the idea that you have the Arida always. You go down before you go up. Right? You can be, you become an action, right? A, nu- a nuisance, a nudge, right? That, it was an action. A nudge. <laughs> right? Can you, can, can you translate it that way? Well, really, it's, it's more an uh, action. It's, it, it, well, I guess you could say it's a nudge, right? What? But, but it could also be a nudge. I'm in action. I'm stubborn and bad asking Hashem. I want this Hashem. I want to understand your Torah. Rabbi Nachman was in action when it came to his under, wanting to understand Torah. Right? He was in action. He kept doing it. He was a big, big nudge. Godot the Kedusha, right? Okay, Vakshan is Godot the Kedusha, Acha Meshabrin Azaz Haguf, the Sitracha, you break the Guf, you break the Sitracha, O Mahapchen Hayerida Lealia, and you can transform that Yerida into the great, a great Aliyah. Right? You transform Mahapchen, right? You Mahapchen, you transform it. Okay, Vizaychen, Lahasek, Hanishma, Vanista, Shemis Palalolov. Now you can understand what you were davening for, and that gives you more joy. Wow, I daven to Hashem, and Hashem, you granted it to me. Amazing. Shezel ba'atzmai bechinas ha'asoga va'orash ha'neshama va'atzadik meirin bai. That's the idea that the neshama is constantly shining into you, your neshama. And if you connect it to the tzaddikim, of course, the neshama of the tzaddik is shining into you. Shayadei zeh nishlam Yerushalayim kriya neman, and that's how you can complete the city of Yerushalayim, the beautiful city of 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 faith. Right, neman means faith. Right, the city of faith. How do you do that through Yiras Hashem? If you have that's the way you said Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim is Yira Sholem, right? It's the city. Of, you have to have Yira. How do you have Yira? You can have Yira if you have Emuna. Right, you have to. How do you have a muna? You need to have simcha. Right, it all. It's a whole program, and to recognize whenever you have your aliyah, it's only to go up a little bit higher to the next level, and that's the only reason why you go down. I, I, I really it would be amazing if you guys can take a look over Shabbos. If you could take a look at the lesson twenty-two, uh, it would be mamish amazing. I'm telling you, after this lesson, if you look at lesson twenty-two, it'll it'll be amazing. I'm telling you, try it. Take out lesson twenty-two. Read a couple. Read it. It's a deep lesson. It's a long lesson. But again, with this explanation for a lesson, it'll it'll go a lot easier. I can promise you that. Okay. So everyone, uh, well, can we we'll learn we we'll learn one one the dvar locha in the kids shulchan aruch now. Okay. This is the program we took on. So okay, here we go. We'll do we'll do aleph today. Here we go. Don't listen to me, I got you on a sidetrack. Okay, din levishes begada v'hi right? So this is the, the, the idea of get, getting dressed and, and how you travel and how you're supposed to go and so on. Okay, ksiv. Vatsnei aleches him elekecha. Right, you have to be, you have to be, vatsnei aleches, what he explains. What is that? Lefikha, excuse me. Tzarech adam liya senua b'chol arachaysav. Anything that you do, you have to always be uh, 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 modest. You do it in a modest way. Right? right? When you're taking off your, your garments, right? You're taking off your undergarments, right? You should try your best not to reveal too much of your body at the same time. 
You take off one garment, you try to put on the other one at the same time. Right? So, again, you can, he's recommending that you're supposed to get dressed while you're lay, lying in bed covered, but okay. Today, we're not really doing that. We're not knowing that way. Uh, people, because again, you have to understand when this was also written, people were in a, a one a one room a one room house. So there were kids and there were other things. So you tried to get dressed in a, a very snood, but now you have a, a, a you know your private bedroom and someone like that. So it's a, it's a little bit different. But again, you do it in a way of sneers, right? You don't just get you know right. You try to do it in the way of sneers either way. Okay, but al yoyma hinni bechadre chadorim bechashecha miyareni. Oh, I'm in a, I'm in my own room here. Uh, I'm, 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 it's dark, and who's going to see me? Ki Hakadosh Baruch Hu meloi chalaretz kavayde, because Hakadosh Baruch Hu fills the world with His glory. Uki chashecha kaira. For Hashem, darkness is just like light; it makes no difference. Makes no difference if it's dark or light. Hashem sees when it's dark, he sees when it's light. When a person has uh, 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 when a person is modest and he has and he feels the embarrassment, right? He bushes, right? He feels he feels he realizes who he is. I'm a boss of a dumb. What am I? Right? I'm Kurtz Mechaimer. What, what am I already? Right? And the person really feels that it brings the person to Achna, it, it, it lowers the person to realize who he is in regarding to Hashem. It doesn't mean the person becomes a Shmata. Mm-hmm. Right? You know, you don't let people work. But, it, but you understand, you understand that it's really you, Hashem, and it's not I mean, the fun of his Baruch because I, I, I humble myself in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's what it's really all about. Like what? Right? Of course, that's what we just said. He's Malay Cholaritz Kavayda. But I'm doing it in a way for me. For me, of course. Hashem knows under the covers also. <laughs> of course. And I want to humble myself, and that's why we do it, okay? Any other any questions on that? Okay, good. Bo Hashem. So I wish everyone a wonderful Shabbos, and uh, Mr. Hashem will continue uh, Sunday uh, with Hashem's help. Everyone, we should have all the Cyrus Tivers. <laughs>